done before. And We're going to have to come up with what they call a cape jump. Now, that sounds to me like it's that old barnstorming bat wing. The bat stunt was a big drawing card in the 20s and 30s. There weren't too many who survived it. This is the first set I designed for a set of bat wings. I made them out of burlap because we wanted as much air to pass through as possible. Now, we also took the added precaution of putting slots in here. We didn't know how much strength it was going to take to hold these wings. As far as holding on to these wings, I found that just small handles out to the end was working out the best. After a few test jumps on these wings, I found that there was a couple items that we could salvage, mainly the handle and the way they was attached to the jumpsuit. This is essentially my first set of wings. I had a jettison system running along here all the way and connected up on the arm under here. I had uh, wooden dowels in here. Of course, they broke when they hit the ground. I had to replace all the dowels. So we eliminated those, cut the aluminum rods and put in here instead of wooden so they wouldn't be breaking all the time. I jumped them a couple of times this way and I found that the wings were way behind me. They shouldn't have been up that high. Also, they were a terrible strain on the arms with this larger size. The biggest problem turned out to be regulating your rate of descent relative to that of the cameraman. You found the rate of fall between you and the cameraman quite a bit different. Uh, we find that we can slow up so much more than he can that he just falls away from us. But when we dive, uh, we dive faster than he does. You can really streak past the cameraman. Of course, you are moving 120 miles an hour. Well, actually, in a dive, you, you can get better than 120. Here. What do you think you can get? I think 150 at least, even with the wings. When I land with the wings, we have five aluminum stays under each arm. And uh, consequently, when you land and roll, they could jam up into your ribs. And it, uh, you just have to do it just right, or, or else you'll uh, impale yourself on, on one of the bat wings. Next shot, Alan, will be parasail. Two Sundays in a row, we were supposed to come out here and practice. Oh. And uh, one day it rained just terribly. The other day, well, the winds were up to about uh, 45 miles an hour. See, the whole trick in this thing is the wind. It's in the area of the wind that you run into real danger. We are able to do it today because the wind stayed constant between 10 and 15 miles an hour. Inflate the canopy, please, for bird Lancaster's parachute. Inflate the canopy. Now, you can help us by being quiet, please. Don't applaud until I tell you. Roll your camera. All right, applause. I Para commander parachute can, in the middle of a strong gust of wind, keel over, and that would be terribly dangerous. I was apprehensive not having done it, but... marvelous quiet feeling. Uh, it's very much like, I suppose, being underwater or being on a sailboat without a motor, without any sound but the sound of the winds. You know, I'd never done this before. Uh, I mean, I actually never did it before we did the shot that you just saw. You feel yourself being lifted by the parachute and you're also being pulled along by the, by the, the automobile. Actually, I, of course, I wanted to do it again immediately and we did it three times for the camera. So I find it, to me, it's a first in my life and I'm very excited about it. There are many exciting firsts in the gypsy moths as men go to incredible heights just to see how far they can fall. There's natural drama in all the elements of skydiving. And there's equal drama in the lives of the men who are skydivers. All of it is captured on film for the Gypsy Moths. <laughs>